This is my colony of Septentrion Alice, my leaf cutter fungus growing ants. And as you can see, I've got two compartments. The one on the left is where the nest is. The one on the right is actually their foraging area. There's a tube that goes between them. The tube's probably a little bigger than what I would really need, but I didn't really know at the time when I made it that um, what size I would be really needing. Their nest area here is where their fungus garden is. And they've got pretty good, and they've been working on it for just a little over a month here. The nest box area is four inches square, and it's an inch and a half deep. I've got about a half an inch of uh, plaster paris for the bottom on it. And the lid is one that I can kind of remove, take off, and put back on a little bit so I can add moisture to it as I need to, as they need it. They're able to go through this tube and then go into their foraging area. They've been working on a petal from a miniature rose. They've kind of got it cut up. and um, Then I also have a um, test tube with some cotton and water, and that's where they get their moisture. I've been feeding them from these little containers here. These have got um, caterpillar droppings. In fact, these are ones that I got last year. All I do is just place a um, a sheet underneath of a oak tree and the caterpillar droppings fall to the ground onto the sheet and I'm able to collect them real easily there. And so when I get those and just sprinkle a few into the into their area here. The ants really like them. I give them caterpillar droppings. I also give them, uh, beside the um, petal from the rose, also um, pieces of um, leaf lettuce. And they like to cut that up and they make quick work of that, but the ants are noticing those droppings real quick, and as you can see, they're picking them up, and they'll be carting them through the tube here pretty soon. These ants are really easy to take care of. They make their fungus garden, and all of their trash, all their debris, they take and put over in the... Um, furthest corner from where the tube comes in, right up there at the upper left hand corner. They take all of their trash there and all I have to do is just empty it out from there. There you can see there's an ant taking one of the droppings through the tube there. And here comes another one. And they're really fun, <laughs> funny to watch when they're carrying them. My cell phone isn't focusing in really good on these, but but they they do pretty good. They'll take that through the tube, and once they get that all the way through the tube, they'll bring it into the nest area here. And then they will integrate it into the fungus garden. Now the caterpillar droppings that I've got are pretty old. They're from last year, but um, all dry. But you can see the ants will actually regurgitate some liquid droplets. That's why they need the water. And they'll soften it back up, chew it up, and put it into pieces and put it throughout their fungus garden. The queen is down inside there somewhere. She pretty well disappears into that fungus garden once it gets pretty good size. But usually you can see where 
they've got the different debris and you know, all there comes one carrying the caterpillar dropping there's another one they carry it right along there and they'll work on it and they're interesting to watch as they chew that stuff up make their garden the like I say the fungus garden has just been started not even quite a month um, when they get to their peak it will pretty well fill that entire container they'll bring it all the way up to the top and fill it all the way almost fill that entire container with their fungus garden um, they'll start in the spring with hardly any with nothing actually um, they go through the winter um, they'll chew that down there won't be anything there all there will be is the ants for the winter and in the spring they'll start making their fungus garden obviously they keep spores or keep um, pieces of it or something and in the spring they've got it and they'll start it up and they'll build it and it will pretty well fill the entire container as, as they continue to, to grow so these ants are fun, very easy to keep, real clean. The colonies don't get real huge. So um, they're very, very easy to, to, to take care of in, in, in captivity this way. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found it kind of interesting. And um, let me know what you think. Leaf cutter, Trachymire Mex, sub 10, tree analysis. And there's my container. And again, this is really, it's easy to to pick up, to carry. It's mounted on, on wood. I've got it up with um, hot glue. Everything's mounted right on there. And it's easy to, to take care of, move around. And um, I don't cover it up at all. It, they're usually under lights. And it doesn't seem to bother the ants. doesn't bother the fungus growing. And... Um, very little disturbing of the ants. They they it don't bother them too much when I take the lids off. They calm down pretty quick. Okay. Hope you enjoyed it.